Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is download the Java JDK. So if I open up the browser on Google, we're going to type in Java JDK download. Go to the first link, and then we're going to look for this section here, the download button. Set the terms conditions, check your operating system. So I've got Windows 64 bit, and then we're going to download. Click save. Okay, so once the download is complete, we double click on the installation file. Click on yes. We're now just going to install the Java JDK. Click next, next. Okay, click next again. So I'm gonna pause the video now, let the installation fully install. Okay, so when you keep clicking next, you should reach this point here where it says successfully installed, so click close. Next thing we need to do is set up the system variables. So on my operating system here, I'm just gonna type in system. We're gonna click on the system icon, we're gonna go advanced settings. Okay, so once we've got the system properties panel open, all we need to do, as previously mentioned, we click on environment variables. First one we're gonna do, we're gonna go on system variables, this section here, and click on new. Now we're gonna call, create a variable with the name of capital, so Java underscore home. And now we're gonna to navigate to our system, and I'm gonna go into C drive, and basically navigate to the actual location where Java saved on my machine. So I'm gonna go on program files, we're gonna to go to Java, I'm gonna select the latest version, so we need JDK, if you've got a newer version of the JDK, then select that version. So for me, the latest version of the Java JDK is the following. So I'm gonna click on the following here, and then we're gonna copy this actual directory, and then I'm gonna close this panel, and I'm simply gonna paste the directory into the variable value and click OK. Next, we need to do one more change. So we're gonna to go to path, double click on the path. We're gonna go new. We're gonna simply paste the same directory, but then we're gonna go backslash and type in bin, so B-I-N, and select press OK. And then we're gonna press OK again. One more thing to note, under your, if you've got the following path here and you don't see it stacked in the following rows, and you've got it all together, for example, you might have it, for example, one path such as that, another such as that, so you might have it listed all in one row. All you need to do instead is put the following and then copy and paste the actual bin directory like so, and then just save the actual setup. So what I'm gonna do now is press OK, OK, press OK again. To confirm that the installation was successful, I'm gonna type in CMD, then you're gonna type in Java, and then you're gonna put dash version. And as you can see, the version has been recognized, which confirms that the installation or setup was successful.